you go out tomorrow, then you won't have an issue. Right. Maybe right. here's yours. Right on top. <laughs> so this is going to end up being voucher number 97. We're going to add $344 even. And then your, what is that? What number are you for your arch in? Oh yeah, no, 76. So we're going to trash it out. So do I have a motion for the board to approve claims 75 through 97 with the exception of voucher number 76 for a total amount of $34,088.49? I know it's, you guys listen to us up here saying claims 75 through 97, you know, passing for $34,000, you know, well, that's a big number, but we're just spending all my money for it. So what I'm going to be asking Joe to, I guess I'm going to make this a resolution, um, to work with Ronnie and Carol is to list out on the back of the agendas a list straight down saying, uh, voucher 75 was to pay Pete $200 for the month in March, for example. Um, so we'll list out so everybody can see exactly what we're paying for each month. So again, we're not sitting here going $34,000. Thanks. See you later. So I apologize. I thought I'd have that spreadsheet ready tonight, but I don't. But it will be here for the May meeting. So we'll be working closely. And I'll make it a resolution before I forget um, at the end um, to do that. So, okay. Because I know I was uh, challenged when I sat over there too. 
Okay, so award fund transfers. Um, do I have a motion that the town board approves the transfer of $150 from the contingency account number 19904 to the water fund account number 83144? And the reason for these change or uh, for the transfer is of a change in contract pricing. So one of the change, one of the contract pricings we had with George's uh, in the water department there was uh, the reason for the change. So this going forward too on transfers, we will also be adding a spreadsheet to the back of the meeting that is highlighting why and what we're transferring for. So it just won't be a line item in the agendas. We will be able to see exactly what we're transferring. Um, I'm sorry, we have to go on, I guess. Or do we? I'll make the motion. Okay. You, you just took a roll on general fund, but you're at water now. Yeah. But you haven't done anything. Do I have a motion? Uh, yes. I'll second. Yes. 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 Um, water claims, water fund claims. Um, do we have a motion that the town board approves claim 30 to claim 38 in the amount of $4,658.96? Um, again, for the audience, this will be detailed, detailed on the back of uh, next month's uh, meeting minutes or agenda minutes. Yeah. So do I have a motion? Okay. Okay. I got questions about the or the More housekeeping here for the folks. Um, the 2011 AUD report um, approval. So, uh, as you know, at the end of each year, we do an audit on all the, uh, the funds in the township. Um, so, this is a, just a kind of formalization that we completed the audit. There is one exception on the general fund. Um, I think IL has indicated that check 4248 for the amount of $10. So at some point we'll just cancel the check. It hasn't been cashed yet as of today, so we're pretty much assuming it won't get cashed, and that'll clear the check. So do I have a motion from the board to approve results of the 2011 audit report with the single exception? So moved. I'll second that. Did Joe second that? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Kuczynski. Yes. Myers. Yes. Yes. This is probably famous, your favorite part of the show here, Mamie. Um, do we have a motion that Supervisor Joyce review and sign the video professional services contract between Amy Goodrich and the town of Princetown for the video recording of April 10th, 2012 of the town board meeting for the total sum of $70? Do I have a motion? I'll make it. I'll second. <coughs> that was real? Correct. Esposito? Yes. Trizensky? Yes. Myers? Yes. Joyce? Yes. All right, community <coughs> development block grant. I referred to this a few minutes ago in my, uh, my supervisor report. Um, Again, this is where I've applied to the U.S. Department of Housing um, and HUD um, for, again, some additional funding for the three sites. So, uh, State Road, Blue Sign, uh, 
State Route 7, Lawrence Hill, uh, the Trim House, Princetown Pump House on Route 7, and then Maven Road. Um, so do I have a motion that Supervisor Joyce review and submit to the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development for the Community Development Block Grant Disaster Recovery Funding Program for the following locations? State Route 7, Princetown Pump House, and Maven Road. I'll make the motion. I'll second. Yes. 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 So, you know, I've consulted with Peter, I've consulted with, you know, a lot of people. Um, so it's been a struggle for myself and maybe some of the board when we come into office here. Um, I've asked some questions from a lot of the staff and um, the pushback was, you know, pretty severe. Um, I was out of my scope, this wasn't your job, this and that. And some of it was, in my opinion, and again, maybe come from a different background, it was, in my opinion, some basic questions. You know, can you provide me your inventory of what you have? Um, what's in your office? You know, for insurance reasons, for contract reasons, for technology support reasons. Um, so, and there was numerous examples. Um, and I still don't have it all. Um, you know, my obligation to the town is to run this fiscal, right? You know, we're trying to watch the money, and to do that, you know, I need some, uh, I need some ability to ask questions from, from the staff without, you know, having to go write laws to ask those questions, and, and that's kind of where we are now. This isn't any power play. This isn't anything. It's just, you know, again, it's just an effort to say, look. You know, uh, I'm trying to do an analysis on what the needs are of the town, current, future, especially fiscal. Um, you know, what kind of planning are we doing? What do we have? What's the, what kind of uh, computers do we have? What, what stage are, of life are they? Are they the end of life? You know, what's our software programs? What's sitting on there? Are we working on, two, you know, Microsoft 2003? We're on XP. Where are we? Um, and, and a lot of things like that. So. What I've asked, what I'm going to ask now from the town board is to give me, the supervisor, a little more flexibility in the day-to-day -day operations of the town. Um, it's not, um, all my actions will be reviewed by, or all my requests will be reviewed and overseen by the board. Um, again, I, I'm still, you know, again, we had our staff meeting. Uh, I tried to reach out then. I'm reaching out again. Um, I'm just asking for some, what I think are some basic uh, ideas and feedback on, you know, hours of operations, you know, inventories, um, job titles, job profiles, uh, etc. And um, to date, it's been difficult to get this information. So, as a result, um, again, in conference with Peter, the Association of Towns, um, 
and some feedbacks um, from some of the town. They're going to promote, or I will, I'm asking for a resolution here um, to grant me, you know, some day-to-day, -day, some more flexibility in my day-to-day -day administration and supervision of the town and uh, the district facilities. Um, Mike, if I may, yes. just, uh, just to give the, the town board some clarity on uh, what the law actually authorizes of the, of the supervisor. So the. The town board is the entity that runs the town. The town is not run by the supervisor or any of the individual members. The town board collectively is in charge of running the town. Now, of course, that's great when it comes to big policy kind of matters, but when it comes to day-to-day -day stuff like where they're going to set the thermostat in here, um, or who's got keys and that kind of stuff, um, the town board has the ability to delegate those kind of administrative tasks to uh, the supervisor. I'll read you the language from Town Law Section 29, which said, which sets forth the supervisor's obligations, which will say, which says, the supervisor shall exercise any other power expressly conferred or imposed upon him by law, and such powers and duties of administration and supervision of town or special or improvement district functions as shall be provided by resolution of the town board to be per performed on behalf of such board. So the town law does allow the board to delegate certain administrative tasks to the, to the supervisor. Um, if there were to be a significant enough shift of responsibilities to the supervisor, that would require uh, a mandatory referendum. So you just you can't go too far with this. So the, the way we've drafted the resolution makes it clear that any actions taken by the supervisor are subject to the town board's oversight and supervision. So that if there are problems, there are complaints by the community uh, or town employees that this has gone too far, employees and staff and town, and town members can bring those uh, concerns before the town board and the town board can always overturn them. So this is not to, you know, like as Mike said, this is not a power grab. This is a way of simplifying things at the town so that nobody has to ask the question, well, is this really something, uh, who's going to do this? Uh, Mike would have that authority subject, of course, to the town board's oversight. Thank you. And the, the language of this resolution was language that we got expressly from the Association of Towns. It's a fairly common thing to do. And in fact, may have been done in the town. <coughs> no, I'm, I'm aware of that. I've read that. Okay. It's never, it's been, never done. been done. So that's, that's the purpose of this, and I just want to make sure everyone's aware. I might add that uh, I checked on this myself, and uh, there's, uh, Princetown is not the only town that uh, has a uh, resolution like this, granting powers to, uh, expanding the uh, supervisor powers, and uh, I think it's a good thing. To me, I think it's, uh, I'm all in favor of it, and uh, like I said, I've checked with the association of towns myself, and uh, they've made it clear to me that uh, even with the, in here, as you can see, there's a sunset. On this, if, it, uh, if we're not satisfied with it, you don't have to approve it the following year. And this can be overturned. Any town board member, if they so wish, can make a motion to rescind this uh, and remove those those uh, uh, that authority. So this is not set in stone in any way, shape, or form. It can be changed anytime. Thank you. So again, it's, you know, from my perspective, it's just about trying to gain some efficiencies, control our costs a little bit. Um, you know, in the next month or two months, we'll be doing the, town, uh, the state of the town. We'll be doing a detailed review for everybody of what our finances look like, past, present, and future. Um, again, that's pretty much what's, you know, what's driving this. So. And one of the things that th this is to really address administrative day-to-day -day kind of menial, really, obligations. Anything that's really a policy determination uh, has to still come before the town board. This authority does not go that far. So as you'll see, there are additional resolutions in here about where the town board is going to uh, seek to implement new policies, such as the ethics policy and the procurement policy. That still all needs to be done by the town board. And just to follow along, Peter, as we go through the rest of the meeting here, you'll start seeing that everything's going to be done up front by committee. Um, well, up front by committee, you know, with discussions. Um, as you know, we've been 
we start holding our agenda meeting, so you know, I don't want to tie up every time we're running late already, but um, you know, we want to use those meetings to again expand on some of these policies and you know, one of them will be the day-to-day -day operations here in the town. So with that, um, can we read the whole thing here or I mean, I think it's it's, yeah. All right. So do I have a motion? So pursuant to town law number 2916, resolve that the town board of the town of Prince Town hereby authorizes and delegates the town supervisor Joyce, subject to the continuing supervision and control of the town board, powers and duties of day-to-day -day administration and supervision of all town and special district facilities and employees consistent with and in furtherance of any and all state and federal laws applicable thereto and with any and all local laws, resolutions, and policies heretofore adopted by this town board. The term of this resolution expires at the end of the current supervisor's term on 12-31-2013. Uh, so this will end if, at the latest date then, and if, you know, if it doesn't work out, then we'll, you know, there's a vehicles to end it sooner, so. I'll Wait. make a motion. I'll second. Yes. 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 You know, we had you know a questionable item tonight. Um, so again, we're looking to establish a committee to review uh, the proposed. There is a proposed policy out there, or a draft policy. Um, uh, again, the reason for procurement policy, obviously, is we need to control, in my opinion, you know, the expenses and double checking, triple checking, you know, how and when we're spending the town's money. So. Um, my suggestion here again is let's put together a committee, review the <coughs> current uh, procurement policy, update as required, and then and move into the process. So do I have a motion to resolve that the town board of the town of Princeton hereby authorizes and delegates to the town supervisor Joyce the powers and duties to draft and update to the current procurement policy, which may include forming a committee to review. The updated procurement policy will be presented to the town board for discussion at the uh, agenda meeting and then adoption. I'll make the motion. I'll second. Yes. 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 So the next item um, affects Pete. May I guess it really affects Pete. So, in the pile of vouchers that um, Carol has <coughs> in the Estimate Town Board to approve, um, is the 2011 December uh, Peter or Whiteman, Osterman, and Hannah's uh, law bill. And so, the <coughs> December bill is sitting in front of the board right now. This bill should have been paid in the 2000 or on the 2011 budget. Now it's rolling into this budget. Again, skewing numbers. <coughs> so what I'm asking here is that I'm asking the town board for a resolution that directs the supervisor, bookkeeper in this case, Isla Mead, to contact New York State Controller's Office to request the policy and procedure to reopen the 2011 budget and submit the December's uh, invoice uh, against the 2011 budget where it belongs. It doesn't belong in the 2012 budget. Um, Mike, there, I would have a question. Um, was that because of an oversight, or was that because um, Pete's office got it to us late? I mean, do we know any of those details? Or? That's a good question. I mean, not not throwing stones in, but I'm just wondering, you know, there were delays in getting our bills out. I, I know that. I'm not sure exactly when 
if that was the reason. I have it written down on the back. Yeah, I think it was fairly late and you asked for some clarification. I didn't get it to you before the board meeting, so. I mean, I, I, I think that was the reason for it. I agree that it should go on last year's budget, but I mean, you know, not to be laying blame on anybody. I mean, things happen, and, you know, it could be. I've had the appropriate people flogged that, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Another 10% discount? <laughs> Again, you know, again, as Bob says, we're not here to point fingers. We're trying to hear to, you know, this kind of rolls back into the Gorman thing. But again, we just need to, and this is what I'm hoping that I, as I get into, you know, some more of the day-to-day -day stuff here, is like so to drive a little more efficiency in here. So sometimes things like this don't fall in, in and fall, you know, in, at a process here. So, so I'm here is the, uh, do I have a motion to resolve that the town board of the town of Princetown hereby directs the supervisor bookkeeper, I'll need to contact New York State Controller's office to request the process procedure to reopen the 2011 budget and submit to the uh, Peters uh, 2011 invoice number 363065 accordingly. I'll make your motion. I'll second. Yes. Jusinski? Yes. Myers? Yes. Yes. <coughs> Just for to back up there a little bit, so the not the Peter's expensive, but it was the five thousand dollar bill. So it's a significant it was a significant bill. It wasn't a hundred dollar, two hundred dollar, it was, you know, it was a five thousand dollar invoice that is you know significantly changed this year's budget so um, that is really the reason again it was a couple bucks probably not worth the discussion but it was pretty big uh, ethics policy um, again you know we've talked about it um, the ethics policy we currently have on the books is from 1970 um, pretty long ago um, it's time for it to be updated and George or uh, Dan Marciniak has noted and I think Gino and everybody, George, Pat, Vic, our laws need to be updated at some point soon we're going to get caught with gaps in our laws. So, you know, here's a couple steps we're trying to update policies and laws to move forward. So. Do I have a motion that the town board of the town of Princeton hereby authorizes and delegates to town supervisor Joyce the powers and duties to draft an update to the current ethics policy, which may include forming a committee to review the updated ethics policy will be presented to the town board for discussion at the agenda meeting and then final adoption. So moved. I'll second. Yes. Yes. Myers. Yes. 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 All right. And the next item. So we, I can't remember their names. I apologize. I'm not really going to pick them up when I came in. Um, we had a couple citizens um, calling, asking for uh, uh, where the meeting minutes are, the agenda minutes, etc. And I think Carol will probably highlight this a little bit more, but. Uh, with the new open laws meetings, we need to start putting a draft agenda up on the website plus meeting minutes. So um, this next resolution really just talks about the meeting minutes, but um, <clears throat> so there's a couple of, uh, uh, of uh, reasons why we're, we're asking for this, uh, or I'm asking the board for uh, the resolution. Uh, again, I'm trying to formalize and document process and procedure and the timeline so we as a town or you as a town can understand when exactly you'll be able to go up there and see the meeting minutes. You know, Tim has done a spectacular job of putting up uh, the videos where I think we're all caught up for except for maybe one meeting. Um, but these are the written meetings minutes that, that Carol and um, Tim will be putting up on the uh, website. So um, do I have a motion? Well, let me comment because it does have to do with things. Um, Seven minutes is unrealistic. I'm just going to tell you, you can pass it. State law is two weeks. I understand. Um, so, and I, I can't do it in seven days. So, 
and you can pass it. But, you know, you're, you're asking for something that can't be done, so you're setting up a failure situation. So, you know, you know what The town clerk has 30 jobs to do. And you so, have two uh, meetings um, a month. So, I'm willing to sidebar the discussion. Um, so, is the board uh, okay with the 10 calendar days? That means Carol's request? See, 10 calendar days brings me up to a day that the clerk's office is According to state law, the two weeks are drafts. Now, I guess my question would be, would that be 10 working days? So it would be like three no, over three weeks? No, it's a two-week time frame. Some, have, some laws have to do with working days and actually the days you work. This, with regard to state law, is two weeks. So whether you work five days a week or your office is open three days a week, you have two weeks for draft agendas, which I always get done in two weeks. Okay, so then 10 days, that would fall in the two-week period then, correct? Am I understanding that right? Or... Um, it should state two weeks or 14 days because then that fits into another day that I'm here. You know, if we go two weeks forward. Okay, I was just wondering, five and five, I didn't know if that was just the same thing as... And count business days and calendar days are different. Okay. Um, yeah. So what I can what I can consider is the the two calendar days that we're asking for them to be emailed and for Tim to put them up, which kind of falls now into the fourteen day window. So. Is, I apologize for interjecting, but is the town's concern just with the speed of how quickly they're produced? Or is it more just, is it more the posting and making it publicly available? Um, maybe if we know what the board's concern is, we can figure out a way to address it. 